Aren't they beautiful? These are Eastern Timberwolves. Lakota is one of our senior wolves. She's about 12 years old, and she is the alpha of this group. And she recently chose this young guy over here, Zephyr, to be her new mate, her new, the new alpha male of this group. I say she chose him newly because of a while ago we lost our senior alpha. He was 18 years old. And when that happened, she chose this guy to be her new mate. Interesting to watch how she shows him just what his responsibilities are. One of which you're watching here, which is called marking the territory, scenting the area. Yes, that's a very important job for the alphas in the wild because it lets other animals know that the pack is in a particular area. And in the wild, they respect that of each other and stay out of their way. And we're gonna try to let these guys feel a little secure out here. Zephyr is fairly new to this. There you go, good job. And really can jump pretty high. And these trees that they're getting is raw meat. And these guys eat about five pounds of raw meat every day. And that's each one of them. So you know what our food is. Yes. Come over here. We have you. A photo. We're going to take a look at these guys and see just what makes up a wolf. Here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There you go. All right. Go ahead. Get it. A little too confusing here. All right. Let's take a look at her. Check out those little rounded ears. That's the one those cold winter nights. The tips of them won't freeze off. That long snout for getting into the fox holes, the rabbit holes. These guys love white-tailed rabbit. Those yellow golden eyes. So typical of a wolf. And of course, the long legs and big feet. If you look at a wolf's foot up close, you'll see that the two center toes are longer than the others. That gives them a little better traction when they are out there on the hunt. You know, these guys in their pack form can easily take down deer, elk, and even a buffalo. They are tremendous hunters. Come on. Now, many times, these particular ones are not that social with me because they are the alpha male and female. They're more concerned and taking care of the pack. But when a wolf is social with you, they actually bite you. They hold on to you with their jaws, how they say hello to each other. It's not too bad if you don't pull away, but they do have more teeth than a domestic dog, and their jaw strength is twice that of a pit bull. They have about 1,500 pounds of pressure in that jaw. Now wolves live in a pack. What are you doing here, Zephyr? Wolves live in a pack. There could be anywhere from five up to as many as 20 wolves in any one group. The amazing thing is, within that pack, only the alpha male and female will mate and have young. And when those babies are born, the whole pack joins in caring for them. Even to the point that some of the other females will sometimes start to lactate, if necessary, to care for them. Now, a while ago, we were lucky enough to be able to help out a litter of cubs. It was our first encounter with young ones, so we didn't know how the pack was going to accept them. Well, we soon found out. Lakota here wanted nothing to do with them. Being the alpha female and not having given birth to them, she wanted nothing to do with them. But it was about that time that one of our young, our other senior female wolves saw the need and she actually adopted those babies and raised them up like they were her own. Would you guys like to meet the babies? Yeah! Woo! All right, well, we're going to put these guys away and we'll bring out the babies. Are you ready? Zephyr. Come on. 